Hi guys, Flash Taku here, and I am here with my binder of what is my sports autographed photos. And I thought it'd be fun to make videos going through going through all of my binders um, of autographs, and then also my Pokemon card binder as well. Um. Yeah, um, this is my smallest ones, just autograph photos and stuff. I also have a prospect binder of like the Bowman cards and such, a binder of wrappers, and then my big, big, big um, autographed sports card binder that is just massive. So I'll probably save that one for last. Anyway, um, I haven't gone through them much, so it'll be kind of a surprise to me so we'll just kind of have fun with it um let's see well first thing I see is this card I got signed um I got this at Giants Fan Fest signed by Erwin Higueros it was like a Spanish speaking thing at Giants Fan Fest and then this is like the little folder that I keep mostly pictures that I'm trying to get signed so we can take a look and see if there's anything really interesting and then I'll just have to put it back together later but let's see um this was a picture of these two guys who were on the radio show that's local to us that I was trying to get signed but it didn't really happen um I got this back from Pedro Alvarez, um, I think because you have to pay him to get an autograph, and I sent him cards and it didn't work out. And then I got a Jed Lowry picture, this was like on the table at a signing. I got something else signed, but I took this to keep. And this was just something I printed out from the internet of Andy Perino, I think is his name. I think this is Andy Perino. It's been a while. Someone who was on the A's briefly. And I can't even begin to remember who this is, but someone I wanted to get an autograph from. I printed Oregon Ducks logo because I wanted to get it signed by somebody. Probably still can. Um. I have a Matt Castle. I don't even know if he still plays anymore. I should check on that. Uh, let's. See. Wow. Oh, I got. I printed a Sunny Gray picture just in case, but I've got another Sunny Gray stuff signed, but that was probably just in case. I printed a photo of the Tigers. This is probably like a playoff team or something, but. I did get signed. The Tigers are not a good signing team. Um, here's the Stockton Ports. The A's single A team. I got another Sunny Gray photo of him playing for Vanderbilt. And I got this Vita Blue picture that I bought some from online. This is actually upsetting. I got his autograph at FanFest and I had forgotten to bring this picture. And so I got the one ball I had with me signed by him, but I really wanted this picture signed. So that was kind of a bummer. Anyway, now we're getting into what I actually have signed. So this is a Giants Prospect. Um, is his name um I'll let you know if I think of his name um yeah he was on the Giants prospects I don't think I want to say his first name's Ricky Ricky or Tega or Ricky something like that something such as an O um this one is one that's working out for the Giants so far um Jarrett Parker he is their prospect, and I think he's possibly going to be on the team, or is on the team. 
I got both of these through TTM. I just put a ton of stamps on it, sent it in a manila envelope, and got them back. And this is Brandon Moss. Um, when the A's and the Giants were playing each other, I got this signed outside of the Giants Stadium. Of course, he is no longer on the A's anymore. Oh, this is um, John Jaso. I also got this outside of the Giant Stadium the same day that I got the Brandon Moss picture signed. There's the signature. Um, this is Evan Scribner. I think he's with the Mariners right now. He was a relief pitcher for the A's. I printed that and had that signed. And then this is Jordan Norberto. Um, I don't even know if he plays anymore, but um, I was having fun like taking pictures myself, so I got it signed. I don't really do that anymore because I'm not the best photographer. I just take pictures off the internet now or buy them. And this is a Ray Fossey like field pass because my boyfriend's parents somehow got a deal where they went on the field during batting practice at the A's and they got Ray Fossey to sign it and then they gave it to me because I know I like autographs and stuff. Um, this is a Daryl Dawkins Chocolate Thunder autograph that I believe I got for from some friends. Oh, and this is, um, uh, da, 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 da. I'm blanking on his name. I'm going to look behind me and read his name. No, I took the poster off the wall that had his name on it. Darn it. Okay, um, gosh. What was his name? I don't know, because I don't really pay attention to UFC. I'm not into that by any means. But, uh... He's a UFC fighter, um, initials are C, M. It was at a signing event, there was a bunch of people, including Sergio Romo and some football players, so I just kind of got him because he was there, so that's why I have it. Anyway, here is Grant Balfour, um, former AIDS closer, another picture that I took. And I got, oh, this guy, um, he was supposed to be a hot shot for the A's. They made a big deal about signing him from Japan. And then, you know, he just never amounted to anything. But his name was, um, Hiro Nakashima. And then this was a 2000, ugh, 2012 A's picture that I was trying to work on. Um, they're Cespedes, he like, got a walk off or something, and they're all celebrating, but, um, that would be Andrew Kerrigan, who was a pitcher, that would be Jordan Norberto, this one's Tom Malone, and this one is, mm, I really need to look these things up, because, <laughs> Obviously, my memory is going. That one... Hmm. So one starts with a D. Yeah. Anyway. Most of these people are, like, long gone. Andrew Kirk, I don't even know if he has a career anymore. And Jordan Alberto. Tom Malone, I think, is with, like, Milwaukee. Oh, I know who it is. I know who it is. It's, um... Dead. Ah, I can't think of his name, but I know who it is. I'll tell you when I like think of it. Dan Straley. There you go. Okay. He was a pitcher, and then he went somewhere else. This is one I showed recently in a TTM. Is Danius Zubras. He was on the Sharks, and now he's with the New Jersey Devils, I believe. But I sent this and it took a while, but it came back because I sent it during their playoff run. And here is a Carney Lansford photo. It was um, from a minor league team. They just had it on hand, so I got it. 
and this is my Manny Machado autograph. The only Manny Machado autograph I have, actually. But um, he was outside the Giants Stadium because I went there with some people to just get autographs from the Orioles and he came out of a cab and I just asked, can I please have your autograph? And held it out and he signed it. And this was an Orioles picture I was trying to get signed. I can't even begin to remi remember who that is. It was like a nobody player. I just remember it's really short. Started with an O. I don't know. Anyway, this is my picture with Sergio Romo. Um, I met him once I got a picture with him and then I met him again and I got the picture signed. <laughs> it was kind of fun. And this is a uh, Bruce Miller from the 49ers. I'm not sure if he's still on the team. Actually I think he had a scandal or something so uh, yeah I don't think he's on the team but that's his autograph anyway. And this was my picture with Sonny Gray. I went to this autograph signing and I met him and got my picture taken. Um, then I went to an A's game and shouted at him over the dugout and he signed it. Um, it's kind of unfortunate that he signed in the dark area, but he's really hard to get an autograph from, so I'm really not complaining that much. <laughs> And this is just like, I printed it out because a player tweeted me back. I'm, I'm really embarrassed by my, the way I talked because I was like really young. Anyway, um, this is the San Jose Barracuda, which is the minor league hockey team for the San Jose Sharks. This is our mascots autograph, which I didn't feel like I could just throw away or anything. And then a prospect named Ryan Carpenter. And then I met like a minor character type person, like just a minor, a person that makes minor appearances on Duck Dynasty. He was like, made a like special appearance at a minor league game as, baseball game as a sort of promotion. So I got him to sign like my ticket and I got him to sign this picture. I'm not really a fan of Duck Dynasty, but it was like, hey, someone famous, so why not? <laughs> and that looks like everything, so yeah. Well, that was pretty fun. Um, I'll definitely um, look into doing my other binders. Um, I hope you found that interesting. Please give a like and subscribe. Um, if you don't want me to do the other binders, then I guess I won't, but yeah, uh, it's just an idea I had. Anyway, um, next week I'm h hoping to put together a sort of channel update video thing. Just to touch base with everyone about where the channel's at, what I'm trying to do, some future plans. Just so we're all on the same page. So yeah, um, stay tuned for that sometime next week. And I will catch you there. You have an awesome day. Shoom!